Okay, a very good morning to everyone. Uh, the time is uh, 9.05 a.m. So we will start our uh, event for today. Um, so before we uh, proceed on, uh, I would just like to remind everyone to please uh, mute your speakers, uh, your mics. And um, your, if you have any questions, um, um, as per request of the speaker, we will open the uh, session um, for Q and A, fifteen minutes uh, before the end of the uh, for uh, for the each module, or perhaps uh, for, participate at the end of each module or at the end of the talk. At the at the end of the talk. Oh, at the end of the talk. Because okay. these modules are connected. Yes. Okay. Sure. So fifteen minutes before um, twelve p.m., uh, we will start the um, Q and A session, and then at that time, uh, feel free to ask any questions that you have uh, collected at the end of the talk. Okay. Um, so just to recap on today's module, um, there are several modules. The first module is general view and opinions on high impact review article publication. The second module is master plan of writing purposeful. Review article. The third module is special attention to title and abstract. The fourth module, critical all inclusive overview and rele relevant referencing. The fifth module, similarity checks and figures plus uh, table courtesy. Um, sixth module, list of avoidance and don'ts. Seventh module, list of do's and strategy. So there are a lot of um, information there uh, for today's. Uh, sharing session on how to write review paper. Uh, we'll start at um, the, the session is starting at uh, nine. So we are starting a little bit uh, later to give time to our participants to join. And it will be scheduled to end at uh, noon today. And uh, we have Associate Professor Dr. Sip Krishna Goshal, uh, who is our esteemed speaker, to, to help to share his experience. He has a long experience. He's been with us since 2010 uh, with the Department of Physics, Faculty of Science. And prior to that, uh, since uh, from 2004 to 2010, he was an associate professor of, um, in the Physics Department and Material Science Program at Addis Ababa University, Ethiopia, Africa. And uh, prior to that, he was a senior lecturer and was promoted to a reader at Guru Jambeshwar University of Science and Technology, India. Um, he did his uh, PhD in condensed matter and statistical physics in 1996, uh, School of Physical Sciences, uh, Jawaharlal Nehru University uh, at Delhi, India. Sorry if I, my pronunciation is uh, not accurate. Um, he did two postdoctoral uh, researches um, in the year 1999 to 2000 at Martin Fisher School of Physics in uh, Bandiras University, USA, and from 1996 to 1998, uh, he was also a postdoc at uh, Joint Research Program of India Institute of Technology, Delhi, and Oxford University, UK. Um, <clears throat> so Dr. Uh, Dr. Sid um, has been uh, teaching for a long time, and he has almost three decades of uh, teaching experience in physics and material science at various levels. Uh, he has been advising uh, numerous doctoral and master's uh, students, and he, pro uh, he has an impressive uh, research profile. He has published over 600 research articles, um, over 333 in journals with a total impact factor of 550, uh, 15 book chapters and even seven uh, books. So his uh, accumulative experience, I think, uh, really justifies him as a uh, as, as a speaker for today's event. Okay, um, his Google Scholar of H has a H index of 37 and an I10 index of 110. And the total citations of 4,499. As of to date, he has received 55 research grants, supervised 25 PhD, 80 uh, master students, and more than uh, 60. Uh, let me see, more than 65 undergraduate theses. Uh, his recent uh, research interests uh, involves at once optical material, statistical condensed matter physics, laser physics, simulation and modeling, as well as nanoscience. So um, I think today we'll be having a, a, a very good experience, a very good chance to actually learn how to write review papers. We have three hours. That's uh, a lot of time for us you know, to absorb all, all the experience. 
And uh, without further ado, I would like to invite uh, Dr. Sip to uh, take over of the session and um, start with the, today's talk of uh, how to write review uh, papers. Dr. Sip, please. Is it clearly visible? Uh, yes, Dr. Sip. Thank you, my good friend and uh, well wisher, Dr. Ria. I'm very much grateful to Faculty of Science for giving the, me this opportunity. It's really a monumentous task because The title of my lecture today, how to write a review article. This is really a tough question to answer at all times of our research career. I recall a story from my memory lane when I first stepped in as PhD student in 1990. I asked a senior professor, sir, how to write a review article. He gently looked at me and said, see, you can try this after 10, 15 years. Since then, my journey began. Of course, that time, we didn't have internet, only few or limited resources, hard copy of journal and books in the library. And now I realize why most of the great researcher in any irrespective of any field during that time wrote their first review article after 15, 20, or 30 years of their research career. But whatever be, when I started writing my first review article after 15 years of getting my PhD, my condition was more or less like this. And I am sure when you are also going to write your first review article, impactful review article, you have to do a lot of brain work and a lot of efforts need to put. So today, how to write a review article in this lecture, I'm going to tell you some strategies. If you follow this prescription, I'm sure you can maximize the chances of acceptance of your review article. It works for me, and I'm sure that this prescription would work for you. I must tell that now you are in 21st century, and we are sitting under the cloud server. Huge amount of information are available on our tabletop. And being the researcher of UTM, the ranking university, I'm confident that you can achieve it and you must do it as soon as possible. With these encouraging notes, my lecture begins. So in this particular communication, I am going to talk, trust a very gentle introduction, I call it prologue, essential elements of high impact articles, that's important to know, list of do's, where I would be telling you the integration of the strategies, list of don'ts, what to avoid, how to execute the strategies, recipes of quartile high-impact publication, 
Importance of title, abstract and keywords, significance of graphical sketch, and then I'll conclude this lecture. So as Dr. Yep pointed out in the beginning, I'm going to deliver this lecture in seven parts. First part, I'm going to talk about general views and opinions on high impact review article publication. New idea is necessary and it must be worth sharing. Writing the review article is not that important. It is important after you publish the review article, how many number of citations you get within one year and how much H index is enhanced due to those citations and worldwide popularity. And that's where the success of review paper writing exist. So these four tips you need to always remember, note them down. New idea is necessary. Need to develop curiosity in the audience to absorb them in that idea. Make piecewise presentation of the idea using metaphors. Make sure it's worth sharing. So these are the four things. Before you start writing a good review article, you need to remember. This is certainly a skillful act. And I must tell, writing and publishing a review article is altogether a different game. And that's what probably that senior professor told me 30 years before that I can try it after 10 to 15 years. So this is entirely different than developing a regular research manuscript on our research data. Therefore, it needs specific strategies. And here is the catch of writing review article. Why do we, we want to write a review paper? Before you decide to write a review paper, you first ask yourself this question. And most of the cases when I ask questions to many, many students and also lecturer and reader when they propose to write a review article, most of the time their answer is very weak. It's not justifiable. For example, the most common answer comes, no good review article exists in my field. Some people say, no review article on this topic at all. So that's why I want to write. Some would say, I want to write a review paper different from others. Not sounds good. I have surveyed lots of literature and want to write a review. It's not presenting how much paper you have collected and what is the history. It must have purpose. My supervisor asked me to write a review article. It's somewhat very ridiculous and driven by something, maybe promotion, maybe grant, maybe H index increase. So one should not drive by some narrow goal. A writing review paper should have a broader perspective and broader goal. My instrument, chemicals, etc., are not ready yet. So that's why I want to write a review article. This is not the correct answer to write the review article. Excuse me. Are you not able to hear me? Uh, we can hear you. Because someone, someone is writing in WhatsApp, maybe their own problem, I'm sorry. It's okay now, good. It's okay, it's it. you can see it? Uh, yes, I can see your screen. Uh, what do you want to write? 
Uh, why do you thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry for the interruption. No problem. But the right answer towards your motivation of writing a review article should be, I believe that a comprehensive review article on certain critical issues on this topic is still needed. How about writing a paper by encompassing the past, present, and future from very basic to advanced? And that should be the reason for writing a good review article. So frequently asked questions for writing a review article. I get a lot of questions regarding this when I ask someone or someone is interested to write the review article. So this is good to know that these are the usual question comes in your mind and how to resolve them. That's the important thing I am talking about. When should I write a review article? No such rule. It just needs your dedications and attitude. So as I told, because due to the information technology era, we are having a lot of information as, as long as you are well educated and knowledgeable in that field, you can start writing the review article. Why should I write review article? Well, for me, the review article writing should be purposeful to prove your expertise and disseminate the knowledge. If you can do it, H index, I10 index, popularity, whatever will automatically increase because now we are in the global village of science. So every information is transparent to the rest of the world. There is nothing to hide. The moment your paper would be accepted in the journal, it would be in the cloud server. So everyone can see and your popularity will increase if it is worth. How long does it take to publish? Well, three months to three years, depending on the kind of review article you are writing. How many references do we need to write a good review paper? There is no such rule. It depends. It may be 30, 25, it may be 200. But you need to look for the relevant number of references. Is there any special journal to publish review article? Answer is yes. Is there any page limit? Answer is no. But try to keep the review article within 40 to 50 pages. Most of the journal accepts that review article. Can I? include my own research work in the review? Answer is yes, you can. For comparing, for debating, for arguing. But if that work is already published and accepted by the journal. How do I select the appropriate title? You need to see the journal scope. Shall I have to take copyright permission? from other authors to include their figures and data, not needed if they are cited and modified. So the tips is, take the ideas and opinions from experienced and enhance your H index and I can index by writing an impactful review article. I must say, that review article must be purposeful. So there are two interplay. Your brain is your treasure. Your computer is your bank where you keep all your article. But you need to synthesize them. Brain to computer, brain through the imagination. And that's where Felix Bloch said, free imagination is the inestimable prerogative of youth, and it must be cherished and guarded as treasure. So your imagination is more important. You need to justify the need of review paper all the time. Make an argument about its absolute necessary in the paper. 
in the introduction why you need to write this review article. It is a critical evaluation of the existing studied by others. Discuss past developments, present status, recent progress, future trends, and challenges ahead. Tacitly express your outlook in that article. Write paragraphs on particular theme chronologically, year-wise. Don't be random. For each article, start with success and end with failure for comparison. Keep on finding gaps and bridging them till the most recent one is exhausted. So develop a climax. Do not speculate. Make an assessment appraisal by a comparison of different parameters. Remember, science is all about real value parameters. If it's not parametric, that science is social science. Even in social science, you need to parameterize the property, the richness. Nowadays is a number. So therefore, in science, everything is number. You need to compare all the numbers from different papers. A review paper is a standalone document, unlike literature review in the thesis. So you need to write in a different style. Some people say, can I cut and paste the second chapter of my thesis to make a review article. It's not that easy. It's more difficult. So you need to, again, imagine. So at the end, any review article serves as taxonomy. So it is very important to publish a good review article. So success depends on how. But I would believe that the success comes in the following way. You need to explore. You need to evolve. You need to constantly improve. You need to innovate and you need to contribute. If you can do it from the exploration to the contribution, then your review article will become successful. So in conclusion of this model, I just like to say, make it purposeful, be focused, and be comprehensive in writing a review article. Don't present the review article superficially. There is a chance of rejection. Now I am entering into part two, the master plan of writing purposeful review article. So these are the hidden stratagems. I call them a bird's eye view. If you remember them when you are going to write your review article and make tick mark that whether you have taken all these strategies into account, then your review article publication and acceptance I'm sure will be successful. Strategy one, select an appropriate title and target the right journal. This is very, very important. Develop a powerful rational. Clearly depict the purpose and novelty of the review article. Be precise in referencing and acknowledging. Rely mostly on Q1 papers and good books. Take 10 to 15% references from the same journal. Abstract and conclusion must be sought and apt. Write in a debatable style. Avoid speculation. Put as many table and sketch as possible for comparison. Use consistent verb and tense. Be tactful in responding to the comments of reviewers. In fact, in the rest of my lecture, I am going to elaborate all these 12 strategies. At the end, I'm going to answer you and try to show you, demonstrate you that how really you can do it so that you can start writing your review article as soon as possible. So what are the important steps to start the review article? Suppose you have collected a lot of journals, you have read some of them, you are deciding to start by next week, say. So these are the important steps. Select the journal and see its scopes. Target the right journal. 
First, know the difference between topic and title. Acquire all related review papers, publish there and elsewhere. Articulate and create title not appeared before. Remember, common pupil, our common sense is we collect many review articles and then we craft a title matching with all this. And I must tell you, that is the sure chance of rejection. Always write a title which has not appeared before. In that way, you would be different. And journal, remember, the moment they get the title and the abstract, they first put in the server. So in the global server, it goes back and forth. It takes a voyage and try to find out with how many papers and abstract. This has similarity, not the similarity in the sense copy. It's matching the title keyword, the abstract. If they find out more than 10% match, that means this work has already been done. So you have chances of rejection. So first thing, to penetrate the editorial board, to penetrate the reviewer's heart, you need to write a title not appeared before. Keep in mind, please. Collect all papers on the selected topic and title and arrange them chronologically. Chronological is important, year-wise. Write completely in a new way without getting biased. Do not think my supervisor has written the abstract this way and I must follow this so that it will be accepted. The world does not work that way. If the world does work that way, then new virus, new bacteria would not have evolved. So virus and bacteria also finds a new mechanism, new string to new protein to attack human being and animals. So therefore, we also need to develop different type of art title and abstract to penetrate the human heart, the so-called the expert mind. Do not make the paper too broad. If you make too broad, then there will be chances of rejection. So <laughs> Narrow down and be specific. Play with title wordings. Narrow down the title and be specific. Always try to play with the title wordings. Write in a debatable style so that different paper you take, you praise each of the authors, and then at the end, you criticize or censure them so that you can bring the next paper in. Without criticizing the first paper, what is the lacking of that paper, you cannot bring or inject the second paper. So as you are going to develop a story of 100 or 200 or whatever be the number of references, each paper you have to bring, praise them, and then criticize them, so the lacking, so that the next authors can step in the picture. Make the article thematic. Put many schematics and subsections. Do not write a single section too big because it loses the meaning and there is a chance of rejection. So important steps. Literature review in original research manuscript is different from review paper based on literature survey because review article compares the state of the art of various studies in the field. So therefore, you need to take special care for writing the review article. So I must tell that, I must tell that what Einstein told, imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world. So rely on your imagination. Constantly synthesize in your mind what would be my review article, how I can put some important elements, some important information, write them in a debatable style without doing speculation. And that would be the success of writing review articles.
So here is the general anatomy of review article. Title, it is very special and short as I told. Name and affiliations, abstract, which is very special, very short, preferably 150 words for the review article. Keywords, only five. Innovative artworks and graphical sketch are needed. Meaning to say, entire paper, it is better you can make a pictorial presentation to include each and every important aspect of the paper. And if you can draw a wonderful graphical sketch, usually journal, give a second thought to accept your paper if they like it. Introduction should be short. Body of the paper is very important. Specific sections and subsection dedicated to various topics of the said title. And this is the core of the paper. Conclusion again, short and apt and must reveal the novelty and conclusion must not be the replica of the abstract. It should be written in a completely different style, different language altogether. And you must acknowledge whatever you have in the review article. References, reference section is very important because each reference must be chosen based on their weights, their hierarchy, and their chronology. The note is better to dedicate a section on energy, economy, sustainability, involvement of green technology, biodiversity, and possible environmental amiability. Remember, 21st century review articles demands, if not all these, some of them. Energy, economy, sustainability, green technology, biodiversity, and environmental amiability is extremely important for your review article, especially those who will be doing material science, those who will be doing biotechnology, even if you are doing computer simulation or computer technology, computer technology used materials, fast computing, quantum computing, whatever, optical computing. So how the materials processes synthesis goes on to achieve that kind of massive computing. So there, the energy economy, if it is too expensive, people will not buy. So energy economy, sustainability, green technology, biodiversity automatically comes to each and every aspect of science and technology, as long as it has to do with the material. So because nature has just provided us the material, whether food or chemicals, but everything is based on economy and energy flow, and that's where we need to dedicate special sections on this item. Conclusion of this module is understand the strategies, avoid redundant things, do not discuss anything that is not related to your review article, and make the presentation as simple as possible. So remember, simplicity is the answer of accepting the review article. Even English should be simple, presentation should be simple, and it must be piecewise presentation, as I told you in the beginning. Now I am entering into part three, special attention to title and abstract. Remember, as I always say, the title and abstract of any research document is the Facebook, is the Facebook, of that document. If you do any possible mistake, 100% chance of rejection. So therefore, what to do? When you start writing your review article, begin with five to 10 titles. Do not write the titles on the same day because our brain would be biased. So suppose today you write a title during your breakfast on a piece of paper. So by Tomorrow, your Brownian motors work in the brain, in the billions of cells, neuronal cells, and due to the random Brownian randomness, your memory is washed out. So without remembering what you wrote tomorrow, you start writing a new title. In this way, you start writing five to 10 titles. But remember, at the end of the day, you need one, so choose one, whatever is the best title. If you want to 
if you want to know which is the best title, you can send to the experienced, whomever you feel knowledgeable, and they will tell you, depending on the abstract and title and conclusion, what should be an objective of your paper, what should be the right title. So title plays an important role in writing the review article. Importance of titles and abstract, as I told, it acts as Facebook. Title decides the readability of the paper. Abstract is the condensate of the paper in one paragraph. It contains everything but in one paragraph. How precise, how the weightage of every word must be, you can imagine. A title must have two parts, objective and subjective, and try to compile the abstract within 10 to 12 words. Too long abstract weakens the meaning, weakens the thematic meaning of the paper. So titles should be short. In importance of title, I just would like to tell again that it must have subjective and objective part. Both parts should be reflected in the title. Must be short, focused and apt. 10 to 12 words, preferably within 10 words. I would say below 10 words is the best. Decides the acceptance of the review paper. Selection of words in the titles are significant. Objectives and problem statement must contain these words. Remember, in the abstract and title, the words you have written in the title that should appear in the keyword, that should be covered, in the objectives and problem statement within the abstract that must be covered also in the results and discussion as well as in the conclusion of the paper. And this is known as the making the garlands. So garlands is a cyclic thing from anywhere you start, if the same flower, you will come back. So it is like a symmetry. So this is like a, like a repetition. So remember objectives, problem statement and title must be repeated, but in different format, in different places in the paper, not in the same language, not in the same way. It should have a different thematic meaning. So it decides the readability of the paper, and I request you, I must tell you that the word review is not necessary in the review paper at all. There is no need to write the word review in the review article. You can use different words to make the review article more attractive, more presentable, and more meaningful, more purposeful. So more on the title. As I told, prime objectives must be reflected in the title because it determines whether the paper gets read by n number of readers in the world. The moment it becomes online, the readability of your paper, many people will give in the Google this search, the search engine will capture this title, and immediately it will go to the abstract and title, because most of the cases, the paid journal do not display the entire paper. After reading the title and the abstract, if the people lie, then they will go for purchase. They will ask their friend somewhere who is sitting on the server with the journal subscription fees. They can send the paper to you. But journal earns the money from good and impactful review article in this way. And that's where the successful review article is. So you must avoid the long title, see journal rules, Avoid abbreviations in the title until and unless they are widely popular and colloquial. For example, the word laser, it is abbreviation, it is an acronym, but people know it now. So you need not have to put any extra wording like light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. You need not. Laser, because it's not color. So, but if you write something which is, for example, artificial intelligence, AI, although it is well known, but 
in the review article of general kind, you should write artificial intelligence, 3D printing, 4D printing. So all these kind of thing, neural network, NN. So these are known words, but it is known to the computer community. So if you are writing a review article for the computer community, then still you can use, but my suggestion would be not to use until and unless that word is very widely popular. So avoid the abbreviations in the title. Avoid too many of and for the by in the title. Try to write only one of, maybe only one in. Okay. So do not write two of or do not write two and and so on. So conjunction, interjections, prepositions, avoiding them is good for review article. And do not write the word the, T-H-E, in the beginning of the review article. So long title can be shortened by using colon. Okay? For example, you can write that new drift in linear algebra. Colon revisited, you can write. Or revisiting the artificial intelligence. Revisiting diamagnetism. So there are demands of review article, but it all depends how you are presenting the review article. You can even write your topic, for example, the wonder of graphene from past to future drift. So you can make completely new way. I just give you certain words to you because there are certain specific words or you have to, you have to increase your vocabulary. So that's why the Oxford Dictionary, Webster Dictionary, Marmin Dictionary, all these are there. So you need to find out the suitable words for making them more appealing, more meaningful, more purposeful. Remember, we are not writing the review article to impress anyone. It should be very meaningful, useful, and purposeful. That's the idea of writing the review article. So title and abstract. Title should be focused and short, and the abstract must have the following things. Remember, it must have at least one sentence if you put two sentences on each of them, it is better. But if you cannot put one sentence, is very, very important. The first sentence of the abstract should indicate the problem. So this is sometimes called a rational of the review article or problem statement of the review article. And I must tell you, don't be very crude in writing the problem statement. Do not write the problem statement of this paper, or do not write the objective of this work. Do not write, even without writing the problem statement word, without writing the objective words, you can still write that this is a problem statement. You can still show this is the objective. For example, you can say that harnessing the solar energy in an efficient way to meet the demand of 7.3 billion people in the world remain challenging. So this is the problem statement. So you, whenever you say remains challenging, meaning you are posing that this is the rational, this is the problem. And whenever you are going to say your objective, you need not have to say that the objective of this paper, you can just say that based on this fact, it is believed, that means this is the objective. So this, I just want to tell, if you ask me 20 times, I would change 20 different ways that you have to do at the end of the day, as you gain little, little experience, you have to play around with words, sentences. So thousands pages of Oxford Dictionary or Webster Dictionary has given you a lot of scope to play around. So play around with these words and so on and try to justify the right words and right 
objective right problem statement. So methods of that particular review articles that you are going to tell to the audience must be indicated. The main results of that particular paper must be indicated. Significance and attributes of that science must be indicated. Novelties should be clearly written and gentle conclusion without much exaggerations and buzz must be reflected in the review article in a simple way so that general audience can understand and appreciate the work. So significance of the graphical sketch, as I told you, once you decide what would be the kind of anatomy of your review article, what would be the kind of different sections and subsections, what are the materials you are going to include in that review article, immediately start thinking about a pictorial presentation of the entire review article. Sometimes students say, I am in social science, I am in computer science, I am in mathematics. How can I write a graphical sketch? For physicists, it is easy. For everyone, it is easy, I must tell. Some mathematician ask, sir, I am going to do some optimization. I am going to write a review article on optimization. How do I do? I ask the question, what optimization you are going to do? They said, I'm going to do the optimization of traffic. So I said, then you draw the entire, you saw some of the some of the congested part of Kuala Lumpur Highway and going to the airport and bring some algebraic equations and models and some numbers and put some car, put some entanglement, bring those mathematical equations inside the car and inside the door, inside the frame of that car, so that the mathematics that it, you have infused, the computer software that you have infused, together with the roadways, together with the blocking, together with the traffics, and that's going to give you the good idea about the graphical sketch of the optimization problem of traffics in Malaysia. So if you ask me how to draw a graphical sketch on any, hopefully I would be able to give you a satisfying answer, and that would be your imagination. And that's where your brain is your treasure and try to do it. So it is basically a design, a logo, a picture, but it is not a part of your figure or part of your results or part of the paper. It should be completely different. This there is a misconception. Most of the students and so on, they think that the graphical sketch is nothing but a figure or some picture from my paper. And remember, those papers, if you publish, they will never be cited. Those are called garbage and those are really like napkin paper. If you really do a good review article and try to publish a graphical sketch, high impact journal will never accept. First hand, they will reject it. So remember, getting accepted the graphical sketch for a high impact journal is a big challenge. So you need to really put your entire dedication there with meaningful symbol, suggestive markings, written or printed characters or diagrams in graphic arts to do the graphical sketch. And I must tell you that if you really need to take the help, we have some good researcher in our physics, chemistry, and biology department. And you can, I'm telling this for the student, you can take the help from them. So this would be a good opportunity for you to take the help. So a conceptual insight is shown by the graphical sketch in the paper. I just give you two of the graphical sketch. I just gave the idea to of my student. Of course, both are fast track students in UTM. They are as good as anywhere in the world, in the USA or Europe. I read them, the top student, because they are quite intelligent, sincere, they have written quite good paper and doing well in their career. So these are all fast track students. So for example, Asmahani is now one of the faculty in, in Sabah in UMS. She drew this picture when we were working on some glassy materials, putting rare art, 
to get the kind of lazing actions and other things. Another student, Nabia, she was working on some self-cleaning glasses with some rare art, with some metal nanoparticles, and I gave, we discussed about it, we have the idea, so she made this the right hand side, this one, on the mechanism, on the titania nanoparticles, and so on. So basically, you need not have to put all the complex things, you have to put in a storytelling way so that the theme of the entire paper comes from the imaginative picture, and that's where the importance of the graphical sketch lies. So we must put special attention on the abstract and the title. So remember, abstract is the critical part of the review. It contains the rational. So because it contains the rational of the paper, so therefore, we must construct very strong sentence to convince the reviewer, look, I am writing an article which is so important, so much demanding, so much needed, and it contains such a state of the art of knowledge that if you publish, your journal would gain, your journal would increase your the popularity, your journal citations in dates will go high, and your journal would be popular as well as most of the people in this world, they will get the knowledge. So this is the way you are going to disseminate the knowledge. So it sets the main objective and problem statement. Summarizes the most important facts, not everything. Remember, if you have 20 or 30 facts in that particular review article, that's why I say this wise presentation, take five or 10 most important facts, highlight them, emphasize them, underscore them, so that the message become clear and loud. The paper become convincing to the reviewers and the editorial boards. And that's why a good journal, for example, Renewable and Sustainable Energy Review, Modern Physics Review. So this good journal, they keep five reviewers, five reviewers, even if one or two reviewers does the mistake and very, very, uh, they are very uh, generous to accept your paper. But remember, all reviewer cannot do the mistake so that some reviewer give critical comments and that is going to improve the depth and altitude of your review article. And that's the way the review article becomes successful. So it states the major conclusion and significance. 100 to 200 words, depending on the selected journals. No abbreviation, no acronyms are allowed unless colloquial. And I would come to this point, you must avoid jargon. So as less jargon as possible should be there in the review article. The presentation should be simple and straightforward without any references. The abstract is the condensate of paper in one paragraph, remember, condensate of the entire paper. Entire paper information must be reflected in that slide. So words and expressions to avoid. In the left-hand side, these are the jargons. You never write them anywhere in the entire presentation of your paper. But you should only write the preferred use in the right-hand side. Remember, for good journal, one word for Renewable and sustainable energy, they reject 95 to 97% of the review article, 95 to 97%. So meaning each word for them is 20 US dollar. They have calculated for one word, the cost of publication turns out to be 20 US dollar. For nature, one word is 99 US dollar. And nature reject 99.95% last year was the rejection rate. So good review article, impactful review article is writing, is also challenging for you. So nothing comes in hand in easiest way. So you can give a try and 
once it get you need not have to write review article in every day maybe in five years or six years one so therefore i request you to give a try and so your expertise you have to be highly motivated and you need to get inspired by the review article good review article so do not write the word for example a considerable amount of research has been dedicated no need much research is performed or conducted on account of no need to write just write because of as a consequence do not write just write consequently comma so this kind of word make your paper more more clean more impactful so you can also reduce the number of words if you just write this few from 39 to 12 meaning you can multiply 39 into 12 dollar to a 20 dollar 20 into 20 dollar so <clears throat> for any common person in this world population this amount of money saving may be 10 days lunch and breakfast so important again comes into the economy even when you are writing your review article the economy plays an important role with this note let me conclude this part of the, the abstract and, and the title part narrow down the title without the word review <clears throat> write very short abstract and avoid jargons and if you can do it Editorial board, remember, first checks these three things. And then they decide to send it to the reviewers if the overall similarity percentage is less than 3%. So just by interplaying with this, you can still make an appealing gesture to the mind of the editorial boards and reviewer to get your paper accepted. Remember, review writing and all this acceptance till today is not a machinery things. It's still human beings are involved. The taste, the flavor, the color, the idea, the concept, these are judged by the, the novelty by human being. So therefore, four or five top class human being in your field, knowledgeable human being, upright personality will check your review paper so if you can reach up to their height at some extent your review paper is surely going to be accepted with this i am now going into the fourth part of the module here is the critical all-inclusive overview and relevant referencing here i would spend little more time than the last three parts because here is the criticality of the review article like here i would tell you some of the wordings some of the english that you must write to get the review paper accepted or to increase the chance of acceptance but if you can do better than me because i am not telling you need to follow me always if you can do better than me I would be more happy. So that's what Einstein used to tell about Sommerfield. Sommerfield used to tell his PhD student that remember, you should not feel that you will become in the future like Sommerfield. You should feel and you should think, can I be better than Sommerfield? Can I be better than Einstein? Your ambition should be bigger. And same thing, the Nobel laureate Tagore said, ambition of the poor are is poorest. If your ambition is low, oh, if I can publish a review article in Scopus, no, you should target your first review article in Renewable and Sustainable Energy Review or any Q1 review journal. And then and only then, your ambition will go up. Remember, Summerfield had 22 PhD students. He never get Nobel Prize. He was nominated 11 times or 12 times, but 11 of his students and student students got Nobel Prize. So once upon a time when Summerfield used to, when any student used to go to Stockholm, they used to ask, maybe this time also Summerfield student. So Einstein called Summerfield was the factory of intellectuals. So remember, through review article, you are showing your intellectualism. That's what I say. PhD students 
master students are not technician they are the high level intellectuals for the future backbone of the society any society they go they are the skilled human resources and that's where the justification for me the review article lies so you are going to show your intellectualism professionalism your expertise your knowledge through your review article so remember to write therefore a good q1 review article you need to put 50 to 60 percent of your reference in the list from last five to ten years mostly q1 and q2 paper and this is one of the key and secret recipe for getting the q1 review paper accepted one of the secret recipe i will i'm going to talk about many such secret ingredients one by one you note them down and try to perform accordingly to get the review paper accepted remember what is the purpose of literature review so you are doing literature review in this on different parts depending on the thematic presentation of your maybe if you are making the artificial intelligence based medicine discovery then you have to tell about the medicine you have to tell about the immunology you have to tell about the biotechnology you have to tell about the recent progress in the nanotechnology many many things you need to bring but you need to bind them with a reason remember i tell writing review article with 100 or 150 or 50 references is exactly like I ask you to go to the garden. There are 50 different flowers. I tell, pick up the flowers, all flowers, make a garland, mixing them. So at the end of the day, you need to remember the size of the flower, the color of the flower, the flavor of the flower, the glaze of the flower. So you have to arrange this flower before putting in the garland otherwise if you just take the needle and the thread and start putting blindly then no one will like that garland so therefore a floriculturist or a garland maker must be sure which color goes for wedding which color goes for birthday party which color goes so this review article writing is exactly like playing with the flowers to make a wonderful garlands so keep in mind and with that review starts the purpose of literature review do not mean exhaustive survey so you are not showing anyone so i have a lot of paper so i am trying to show look how many paper i can put in this paper no it is not exhaustive survey it is neither the documentation of historical facts and nor the collection of many papers it is rather to develop an argument why the research topic is important to revisit by re-examining what is achieved so far and what is lacking meaning to say what is not understood or developed what earlier researchers could do how did they do it what they could not explain or achieve and that's why your review article is going to play the role critical assessment of the published work again i am coming continuously you have to praise and criticize different paper but that criticism should not be very brutal that criticism must be in polite gesture even if you want to criticize someone if you want to say someone no there are many good gestures to say someone no for example if your mother asks you to go to the market you can say your mother no i can't go father would be very upset but you can still say mother today i have very good i have some important work if i go tomorrow is that okay or can i request my brother to go so this is also another way of saying no but in a polite in a must dignified way so remember this writing review article is also challenging because of this season the past present and future you need to show in the review article but in a comparative style in a comparative evaluation way so this is the 
meaning of purposeful review of literature so i told remember i told in the beginning <laughs> literature review must be purposeful so these are the these are the few points i have shown you here whenever you will be writing your review article please check whether these points are there or not i i will make this lecture available to dr yap you will put in the Facebook or wherever you can download. And if you are recording the lecture, that will also be useful to you. So please go through it again and again and try to give a successful attempt to the review article writing. So what a review paper provides, therefore, it often gives a new interpretation of old concepts. Remember, review paper you are writing, taking all the old concepts and basically you are binding them in a new way. It often gives a new interpretation of old concepts or combine new with old elucidations. It traces the intellectual progression of the field, including major debates, and argues for resolutions. Remember, in science, nothing is old. It depends on your brain. Our brain is the biggest laboratory and everything can be synthesized here. For example, Newton's law was existing for 200 years, 150, yeah, 200 years, unless Einstein questioned himself. Our star, sun is sitting millions of miles away from Earth. How, sitting at such a far distance, it can still tell the command on the Earth, look, you have to move this way around me. Can Newton's law give that answer? And he found Newton's law is lacking of that answers. And immediately he decided, I need to bring these answers. And that's what special theory and general theory of relativity. Brownian motion, the random movement of pollen grain in biology under the microscope, optical microscope, Brownians saw. But that problem remained a puzzling problem for more than 80 years. No one could even dare to answer why pollen grain moved randomly. This became Einstein fluctuation dissipation theorem in statistical physics, so-called Einstein theory of diffusion. On in 1995, 1905, he wrote five monumental papers, diffusion, photoelectric effect, special theory of relativity, and he became the man of last century. So look at here, in science, nothing is old. Everything is there, but you need to put in a new way, and that's where your intellectualism and review paper writing is also goes in the same spirit. So you need to show past development, recent progress and excitements, future trends, and how, remember at the end of the day, you have to show how it is going to solve the problem of humanity. The humanity is the main theme behind all science, technology, whatever we do, we need to show how it would be useful, how it would be effective for the humanity. That may be in the form of medicine, that may be in the form of fast communication, that may be in the form of food resources, solving the food problem, poverty, that may be in the form of clean water. Remember, now at present in this century, only 0.02% of the world population get clean water. Can you imagine 0.02% of the world population is in access of clean water? Those who are in Switzerland near to Alps, those who are in Canada in some places. So most of the time we are, we have to purify the water, reverse osmosis, everywhere water machine. We have to keep the filter at our home. Why? The groundwater is polluted enormously because of the Civilized because of the new civilizations and everything, but still, it, we cannot stop it. We have to go way forward. So what we have to do, we have to bring new knowledge and review article is that thing 
that you are bringing the new knowledge to the pupil. And that's where the state of the art of knowledge in review article is reflected. Depending on the situation, the literature review evaluates the sources and advise the reader on the most pertinent and relevant. So remember, these two words, pertinent and relevant, or relevant words, must be there. And you need to collect the articles based on these. The format of a review of literature may vary from discipline to discipline and from assignment to assignment. Depending on, for example, if you are writing a review article on quantum computing, if I am review, writing a review article on nanobiomedicine, someone is writing a review article on DNA therapy, someone is writing a review article on nonlinear partial differential equation, things will vary. But the main spirit of intellectualism, the main spirit of themes must be same. So excellent literature coverage must be there, thorough and systematic evaluation must be there in the review article. Each paragraph must be developed with a certain recurring theme, and you need to combine new findings with critical evaluations and analysis together with comparison to show how this field is progressing, why this field is still demanding, and what way this particular research area is going to play the role for making our life comfortable and helping the humanity to get better future tomorrow. And that's the purpose of the literature review. So that's why I say a literature review or a review article serves as a taxonomy for navigating into the field. For example, if you write a review article anywhere sitting on this and it is published, anywhere you are sitting on Earth and give on the Google server that I want a review article on nanophotonics. I want a review article on hydrogen fuel. I want a review article on nanobiomedicine. Look at, in the first three pages of Google, in the millions of connectivity, whose name appear? And if your name appears in one of these first two pages, then I'm sure your fame and features are accepted in the cloud server. And you are there for next 100 years until and unless someone beats you. And remember, who goes to the Everest fast? Who goes to the moon fast? Everyone remembers their name. Many afterwards can go, but people forget their name. Edwin Aldrin and Ian Armstrong. Tenzin Norgay, we all remember because they are the first. So you will be the pioneer. Your name will be always first. And try to write a review article for that reason also. It's good to write a review article. So the review, literature review must be purpose and it must be highly critical in terms of writing. It establishes the problem statement and hypothesis, determines the need of replication of a well-designed study or refinement of the study. It shows different research methods, different design instruments, data collections, analysis methods. Every part should be touched, whether in depth or in little, depending on the objectives of the paper. It must compare, evaluates, analyzes, comments, justifies, criticizes, praises, and discusses the existing issues and results. And at the end, it must interpret every results that you have presented from different paper. It discusses the published information in a particular subject area. Through up-to-date referencing from all top researchers in this field. So here I would like to tell you, before you put an article as reference in your review paper, please check the citations of that paper. Suppose you have 10 of similar title, but you do not know which one you need to choose. If you need to choose 50% of them, so go by the citations. Please look at those papers, go to the archives, check 
how many citations this paper got, how many citations that paper got. So depending on that, you arrange them and put them. More the citations of the papers in the reference, your paper will be also cited. For instance, if your co-author is Nobel laureate, then it is sure that your paper would be cited by many people. So this is the way we can enhance the citations or the quality of our paper by putting high quality references in the reference list. So it says that if you start eating good quality, good quality food, if you start reading good quality book, then your ambition would be always good so you cannot come down. And that way, your overall growth, your overall evolution would be also good. So that's why I say ambition of the poorer is poorest. So poor people always go for poorest ambition, but we should not do that. We are intellectuals, we are academicians, we should always keep our ambition in academics a bit higher. And that is the way students will learn from us. What a sort of an authoritative prelude does. So again, I'm repeating, this is very important. What a short and authoritative prelude in the research article does. So provides a relevant background information, very short way. First paragraph must contain the rationale, why the topic is so important. Second paragraph must contain how you got motivated to the work on this title, why this field is demanding. Third paragraph, second paragraph, half of the paragraph must contain what inspires you to navigate onto this topic. And then the following paragraphs, what remains in this research field, how researchers are trying to bridge the gap, what is the breakthrough so far, and what is the future trends, where are the challenges? What people are really looking for and not able to achieve so far? What way your paper will dif be different than the existing one? Why different results disagreed so far? How to reconcile different works to reach into a conclusive remark, to reach into a general consensus. Remember, a review article opens the problem with multifaceted facts, but a review article closes the problem with some resolution and opens new door for the future. So this is the theme of writing the review article. It builds the case studies to justify why the study is important and necessary. It provides invaluable information only on earlier studies, which are published and well accepted by the journal. Put relevant figures and tables from the existing work so that you can compare all the works afterward. Review mainly focuses on the benefit of the general audience, it shows the research gap, it shows the purpose of investigations, it shows the value of investigation, why this topic or title is so valuable at the present time. What have already been done, what is not reported or achieved, <clears throat> but worth looking for the future, so cite the relevant references in every line, every line. It's not that many student writes, I have seen many people, the references, three or four references together at the end, from seven to 11 at the end of the paragraph. If you write the review article on good research article this way, sure be, be rejected. So every line must be cited with the proper reference. So what are the references you are going to choose in the review article? Relevant and recent, 50% from last five to 10 years, say, five to eight years better. Every article, you must get the DOI, Digital Object Identifier Number, ISSN, 
number, ISBN number if it is book, and if you are citing any patent, then the patent number must be there in the review article. Be highly selective, put some books and monographs also, books and monographs are also important to cite in the review article. Read the references before citing, do not misplace them. That means you are citing, you are writing a line, instead of reference seven, you put six. It is not good, so it is called misplacing. Right references should be in the right spot. Do not misquote or misplace the reference. This is a serious mistake, and most of the review article get rejected because of this reason. One, because it goes in the hand of highly knowledgeable people who are so-called the prophet in that field. And therefore, they can read within few minutes, they will discover where is the lacking, why you have misplaced this, whether it is really acceptable or not. And that is the way critical comments of the reviewers will come. Use the correct style, follow the journal, whether alphabetically or numeral style. Different journal have different rules. 60% of the total references must be Q1, few good books, no proceeding, no scopus, no website. Always avoid proceeding, website, and scopus article in your high impact review article. This is a discredit for you. How you can inject the references? You can inject the references in various paragraphs, in various places, based on how relevant and how recent those references are. For example, suppose you are writing a review article on graphene and you are writing research on graphene is exponentially increasing. Now here, do not put any simple Q1 article. You have to bring the best review article. You have to bring the best book on graphene so far. And you have to bring the Nobel article, Nobel Prize winning article into this position because these are the three topmost to justify this statement. So the statement must be justified with the weight of the article. So that's why a review article must contain several review articles in that field as a reference, not just simple research or original research article. Be highly selective, choose the right one from many paper of similar title. Read the references before citing. Critically analyze the findings of every references, write one, two, maximum three lines from every paper. Do not describe a paper by two paragraph. Only limitations is three to four lines maximum if the paper is very, very important. Otherwise, two lines, one line for showing the strength of that paper, one line for criticizing that paper. Then go to the next paper. Write some linking sentence like, despite many efforts, this field remains obscure. Although some research has been done, but this is not clear yet. This issue is not resolved yet. Such kind of statement to justify that this field is under continuous progress. You need to show throughout the paper that continuous progression is on. And that's what I have decided to write a review article. Construct sentences. Yes, that's the thing I just tell. I do not tell, that's why I told in my article that I am going to tell you in the hands-on way a little bit, I'm going to tell you what you must do and how. Know-how is more important because for academicians, we teach that how to do it. For politicians, just to pose, we must do it. They will say, well, every country is a vaccination is very much needed for the citizens. How? When? How quickly? They will not tell the details in the beginning. We must resolve the poverty. How? They are not going to tell. So we are the academician, we must tell how. So know how is more important than just to tell you must do it. Here, 
So you must write the sentences or start the sentences in this way. In a recent communication, Peter et al. affirmed in some studies, Podolowski showed. In some studies, Walter Cohn and co worker asserted. Einstein claimed. Young argued. Landau proposed. So that kind of words will make the paper more readable, more meaningful. You can also start the next. Don't write everywhere the same. In recent, in recent study, in current study, present study, do not write. Next sentence, completely new way. Zhang et al. acknowledged. In addition to this, next sentence, we attain to use. Next sentence, we believe. If you do not write, do not write many places, we believe we attempt better, you just write, it is an attempt has been taken. It is believed. So you can write in the passive voice, better write the review paper in passive voice and original research article some places in active voice. Original research article is yours, but review paper is others. So write the passive voice in review article is better only at the end when you will be compiling the different papers and put your opinion. So that time you can say in our opinion or in our view, in our perception, in our standpoint. But Till the end, when you are developing the climax of the paper, then you need to write in a passive voice style. So this is the important part of writing the review article. You should make a comparative evaluation of the most top 10 important paper, top 10 or 15. So this is called the tabular form of comparative evaluation or comparative summary of the literature to show what is the present stand, what is the present understanding. Do not compare entire list of references, only take the top 10 or top 15, who has really made a remarkable contribution in this field, meaning whose paper is maximum cited. For example, if you see a paper is cited, a review paper is cited in last five years, 500 citations or 400 citations, you can close your eyes and take that. This is the hot cake I must put into the pan or I must put into the dining to eat. So, this is the way hottest paper in that field must be checked through number of citations. And of course, when the number of citations matters, the institute's background also will be reflected in that. Develop new tables from all relevant studies to show the analysis in terms of methods, major results, and existing gaps. So this is the way you must make the table. Authors, this is called comparative summary of literature. Authors, journal year volume, what is achieved, what is what is did, what did not address. So that shows what is the ongoing issues in that work so that the review article is still a justifiable document. Good. Now, the important thing is the following that you need to follow the journal style to put your reference list. Different journal has different style. So I would say before you decide to write a review article in a particular journal, you just follow that journal. The most recent paper you download, you exactly follow the reference list accordingly. But books must be put in a different style in the reference than the research paper. And if you feel some website address is absolute necessary, for example, you do not find any important document except in some in the Oxford or in the Cambridge or in the in the uh, Caltech or in MIT or maybe some Nobel laureate special 
uh, website or uh, or in the Stockholm Nobel Committee's website, you can put those because those kind of websites are never deleted. They remain there forever. But most of the websites are fragile if they are not institutional or the governmental entities. So therefore, it is very risky. Private websites are very risky because if a person retires or something, so that might not be there anymore. So you will be in trouble. So to avoid that way, the website is better. So you can also use the words like when you are comparing different papers, they introduced, they developed, they acknowledge, it is demonstrated, and this kind of word, you can also write paraphrasing the sentences from different papers, but you have to completely write when you are taking the paragraph or something from another paper, you need to use new words, completely rewrite it, not just paraphrasing so that it will not be followed the target in checking. Many people do it. They copy a paragraph and change few words so that the similarity percentage goes down. That gives a discredit to the reviewer. Remember, you can do it for your satisfaction, but reviewer, knowledgeable reviewers will surely catch. For example, if I see that review article, if it falls in my hand, sure chances of rejection. So remember that reviewers are more knowledgeable than you. You cannot make them fool easily. So better to write in your own words, in your changing it completely. So you need to interpret what the author said without using many words from the referred paper. Use relevant referencing and take the gist of that paper. As I told you, two to three lines maximum from every paper. And whenever you will be writing, every paper, compare them, you need to avoid the jargon again and again. Do not use the word employ. It is apparent that, it is clear that, has the capacity to, do not write that. Use always the simple word with a comma. That would be more appealing, more purposeful than just writing in a purposeless way. Okay, so you can use also this kind of English to start a sentence. Starting every sentence is very important in the review article. That's why I am giving you stock of words so that you need not have to search in the directory. You need to use from here, from my lecture notes. You can use lately, recently, of late, besides, currently, clearly, conversely, alternately, latter, furthermore, in short, briefly, prima facie, nowadays, this kind of simple, straightforward, and very high-weighted words in the dictionary is needed for writing the review. When you are comparing different results, different methods, different, uh, different ideas, you need to use the word, it is described, it is explained, it has been underscored, it has been highlighted, it was argued, they displayed, Zhang et al. computed. Don't write the same thing. They, it has been many times. In a paragraph, if you use it has been once, next time you write they proposed. Next time you write Charles and et al. argued. Next time you write some researchers attributed. Peter exhibited. So this way, from every sentence to another sentence, when you go, remember, do not be monotonous. So that's why you need to check the review article again and again so to completely delete the monotony. In conclusion of this part, how to make the literature review writing useful, I just say that literature review seems easy, but actually not. And that's where the most of the review articles get rejected. So you have to know yourself after reading. This is only you can do by through your imagination and knowledge. Relevant, highly relevant, most relevant. Remember, Categorize your paper. You have, suppose, on the same title, 20 papers. 
you have to choose the most relevant at the end of the day. All 20, you cannot put. You have to know how to make the discussion critical. So this is called critical overview. You must know to make it chronological. Do not first tell about 2020, then suddenly jump into a paper of 1980, then jump another to 2006. No, develop a story starting from the beginning. You can say, this problem has the origin of its ancient time. Maybe you are putting 1723 paper of 1689 paper of Newton. This problem started with Newton. You need not have to cite Newton's paper, just tell. Newton's proposed the corpuscular theory of light. Since then, the particle aspects of light was on. Einstein resolved this, this. Photon was discovered. Now, at present, we are talking about single photon decay. So you have to develop this climax. How? From the corpuscular theory of light, how from the gravitational formula of Newton, now we are talking about gravitational wave. After 100 years of Einstein proposition, the gravitational waves are discovered and knowledge has been propagated, Nobel Prize has gone. So virus is known for a long time, bacteria is known for a long time. So discovering a vaccine for new RNA virus is not new, is, is something very, very remarkable. So that kind of facts you need to put in the art. So this is chronology. Then you have to go in a thematic style. The, each and every title must be related to each other. They should not have big difference. So that's called discontinuity in the paper discredit. Emphasize on last five to 10 years paper only. State of the art of knowledge must be reflected. Continuation between different papers among different paragraphs must be there. You should cite back and forth, remind the audience back and forth what your story is, how your story is building. Comparative and debatable style must be followed. Research gaps and objectives must be reflected in the paper. Now I am going into part five. Here I will be talking about the similarity check. Figures plus table card C. This is very, very important. Remember, in the paper, nothing is yours except brain, knowledge, and language. This is very different than original research article. In original research article, 60% is yours. Data, explanation, argument. But here, everything is others. But you are justifying or denying others, you are praising or criticizing others. You are establishing the truth. You are telling how this is going to serve in the humanity, how this new knowledge that you are going to build or you are going to argue is going to help the next generations, scientists, researchers, beginners, to pursue research in this field. So how general people, common audience, those who are not researchers, can also gain some knowledge out of this. For example, suppose your father, mother, your brother, or someone is not has no background in research. They are just working in the bank, or they are just working as a clerk in some office, or some of your brother is doctor, but you are physicist or chemist or biotechnologist. So you are writing a paper on something. If he reads and say, wow, your paper is so good, I understand. And that's is the game. And that's where your theme and features is accepted. If the general audience can understand your paper, appreciate your the knowledge that you have distributed in the paper, and that's where the good review article. So remember, write a review article in a style, the language of the review article, the abstract, the conclusion, some part, introduction of the review article should be understandable to the public. Look, many of you are not biotechnologist or doctor, but when you write, when you read, 
one page or two page article on Google on COVID virus or on the recent development of vaccine, you still appreciate, you feel, wow, so much of good knowledge, I gain the knowledge out of it. So that's called the author's power of convincing people. And that's the way we must write. So if you are modifying and adapting the figures and putting the right references in the table or in the figure, then there is no copyright violation because review articles are normally for the, not for the commercialization, it's for the, it's for the academic purpose. So review journal takes care of it. So there is no problem. You can put other people's figure without taking the copyright, just cite them. If journal objects, if journal tells you before publishing that this figure you have given for physical from physical review B, so can you replace this figure or can take a copyright permission from the author? And that time, yes, you have to take. Otherwise, just do not worry about it. Journal has the mechanism nowadays to take the copyright from journal to journal. So if you are publishing in LVR, LVRs know the mechanism how to get it accepted from the American Physical Society. American Physical Society knows how to get it permission from the American European, I mean, European Physical Society and so on and so forth. So you need not have to worry, but you have to worry only, you must put the right reference in the right spot. So this is the basic idea of this. So plagiarism and self-plagiarism, I'm not going to give you the big definitions. I never like this because whenever we'll be writing something, why we should be worried about it until if we know we are not copying from somewhere and cutting and pasting the paragraph. This came only after 2000 because of the internet and so on. Because nowadays people want to take the shortcut road and get name quickly, get promotion, get this and this. That's why people are always in the motive of doing injustice, doing fraudery. So to avoid the fraudulent mechanism, plagiarism came. But the important thing I would like to tell, do not take any paragraph even from your own paper if it is published, because publishing your own work second time by taking, cutting and pasting is also plagiarism. That is good for thesis. For example, suppose you have published five papers and you have taken a lot of things from your paper and put in your thesis, so the similarity percentage become 80%. Well, you can ignore them, but because this the similarity came only from my work, and because this is my published work, and I am putting them in the thesis, obviously you are going to, still it is acceptable, because you are not copying from, but if you are putting this information into the journal, journal will not spare you. So this is to both plagiarism, self and cross plagiarism, both are, both are abusing, and we should not do it. That's the basically the idea. Figures and tables, as I told you, you are putting the citations, so no problems, because figures and tables you cannot totally change. But if you can, if you can take the data from some figure and replot it by comparing many other data, but you need to put all the references in the caption at the end of the figure that the data are taken from this, this, this paper and modified and put into a new format. And that's good. If you are taking the idea from some graphical sketch and putting into a new schematic, you also put the reference and say, this idea is taken from or adapted from this or modified from this. Cut C goes to this, like this kind of word you must write whenever you are writing the. So remember for review article, the similarity check do not include equations, headings and subheadings of the paper, like introduction, results discussion, conclusions, polymerization, geopolymers, nanomedicine, copper nanoparticles, these kind of words are excluded because these are generic words. So remember, generic words or generic sentences are excluded. Name of the instrument, AFM, XRD, FESEM, name of the biotechnological DNA, RNA, protein, amino acids, this. So linear equation, Kolmogorov entropy, okay? nonlinear differential equations, and this. So these are called generic words. So definitions, references, equations, headings, these are excluded. 
For what comes under similarity? A sentence with eight or 10 string continuously, meaning 10 or eight words continuously you have taken from somewhere, that is fallen under the similarity. And remember, review paper demands such thing should be below 3%. Until and unless you are able to do that, do not take the risk of submitting. The moment editorial board will get, immediately they will make a close post-mortem through similarity check with a high face software. And if they find more than 3%, you wait without waiting. In the next day, you will get the email, this paper, is not under the scope of this journal. Remember, this is the polite gestures of slapping you openly. So, if the paper is waiting for 15 and 20 days, you can still hope some good news is going to come. Good news may be in two form. One form, five reviewers, one of them accepted four give strong rejection with a lot of comments and arguments. I would say that's the best news for you. Because now your chair is second. You have now realized that you have to do more work. And remember, every reviewer comments are gold dust. And it gives a lot of learning, a lot of chance to improve the topic. And that's why it is very useful and you must follow it. But this is not the end of the story. Turnitin in check is not the end of the story. There are more stories that is going to begin now. The story is, figures and tables caption must be sought and apt. Do not forget to mention or provide the references from where you have taken, from the original paper, references must be there. Use the word adapted from, taken from, reproduced from, reconstructed from, courtesy to, modified for. These kind of words must be there in the citations or in the captions. Draw your own by modifying the existing one. Remember, figures and tables are very, very special for the review article. Very, very special because review article, the thematic, as I told you, it is a garland. So these tables and figures act as magic patches magic colors all colors are not magic remember in a garland if you have many flowers our eyes will go to sunflower if there is any sunflower it will immediately go because of its color its glory its magical gesture it will go to rose it will go to genia it will go to marigold so certain flowers in nature are so attractive, our eyes, our sense organ cannot overlook them. So our eyes will all, all the time will be looking at those lotus. So similarly, in the review articles, I'm giving you natural analogy because I feel in the following the path of Einstein, as Einstein said, if you explain some abstract idea of physics to your grandmom who is illiterate, absolutely, or do not have any sense of science. If you cannot explain in simple words, you are a stupid scientist, or if you are a stupid researcher. So I always give the natural analogy or common sense or in a, in a simple words, so that you will remember when you will be synthesizing your review articles, so that you will think that every figures and every tables which is binding different texts, different sections and subsections, which may be abstract, which may be highly technical, but the figures will be in between them. They are going to tell the entire story in a pictorial way. So they are acting like rose, they are acting like sunflower, they are acting like lotus, and our eyes look for them. And that's why there is a proverb. Chinese proverb says, a picture is more than a book, and a figure is thousand words. So use origin, XMGR, new plot with 300 DPI minimum to draw every figure very clearly with right fonts, 25 to 30 font size, 
as long as it is clear, look at the high quality journal, their artworking, their artworks, and make your paper in that way. You have to, again, I'm repeating, you have to just write once. Take a few months, a few years from now, write one, and that's it. Then your name and fame would be accepted in the international scene. So this is the way we put the. So what is the purpose of, so summary of conclusion of this part, what is the purpose of this review must be clear. What is the novelty must be clear. What are the recent trends and future drifts must be clear. What way this paper is beneficial to others must be reflected in the paper. Your opinion and views about the topic must be reflected or rather you put a different paragraphs about your opinion and views. You take all the papers and make a debate and tell that this is the present understanding, this is the way ongoing research going on, this is the way people are trying to contribute, and this field will remain a fertile ground for next so many years. Its relevance in the subject must be clear. So remember, summary and conclusions of the paper must be perfectly aligned with the objectives and ongoing debates. It must not be a replica of that structure. So summary and conclusion whatever you write, or summary and conclusion of the paper must contain these few facts, as I told you. It must tell the review purpose, it must tell the novelty, it must reflect the recent trends and future drift, why this paper is beneficial to others, your opinion and views, the relevance in the subject, and ongoing debates in this work in this field must be reflected in the article. So acknowledgement you must put in the review article because a review article is the biggest success if it is cited. So therefore many people will know your fellowship, your scholarship, your institute, your study leave, the people who helped you, the people who criticized you reading your paper, who are the expert hands behind your paper, you can put them in acknowledgement. But remember, acknowledgement should not be one page, only in small one paragraph you have to. So now we are coming to the tense and verbs. This is very important. Language focus is the most, remember, in science, you must be expressive. So the power of English, the power of language, is important, the power of expression. If you cannot express the thing powerfully, then it will go in scoopus or prosody. If you are expressive with good knowledge in a powerful way, then it will go in Q1. So this is called expression. The power, I call it power of expression. When you are citing specific author's finding, use the past tense. When you are writing about the accepted fact, then you write present tense. And when you are citing several authors or making general statement, use present perfect tense. This is important for you. This is very important for you. And I must tell you, this is going to play a critical role towards the acceptance of your review article. Well, remember one, do not do the right click in the word and make your sentence or word corrected. For example, our people common sense is, oh, what is showing here red? Make a right click through the mouse. Oh, now it become green. Ah, what has chosen the right word? No, word can choose also the software, Microsoft Word, or anything can choose the wrong words also, as long as it is in the dictionary. If it is not in the dictionary, only then it will show the red. So by clicking the mouse, you are not accepting the logical or the right words. And that's why I say, please, even if you are thinking of submitting your paper in Word, write your paper in LaTeX, RevTech or MTech, whatever. If you are using Unix-based software, which is LaTeX nowadays, even in Windows, it is available, you can avoid 
all the logical mistakes, some of the logical mistakes also, which is not possible in Microsoft Words. And also, obviously, the English wrong spelling, wrong pronunciation, Microsoft Word sometimes cannot detect and LaTeX or RevTech or MTech can detect them so that you can submit to the journal a clean and more correct version of the paper. So if you, for example, write, do not trust your spell checker to find all your mistakes, the software, Microsoft software will not make any objection because all these words are there. You can type in your laptop and see all these words are there in the Microsoft Word. But Probably you wanted to write your logic, your brain. That's why I say your imagination and synthesis is more important. It's the human brain which will decide the good or bad quality. So actually you wanted to write this. Do not trust your spell checker to find all your mistakes. So remember this and now choose whether you go by Microsoft Word or LaTeX, whatever you choose, you have to overrule on the top of them. And that's where the good review article is. So here you need to revise. Again, I'm telling revise, 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 and revise. The format of presentation, polish the English, clarity of the figures, double check the references, look for the typos, double check the spelling, and this is the way you can avoid. Remember, if the editorial board and reviewer find more than 10 grammatical mistakes in the entire review article. Remember, 10 grammatical mistakes. This is the rule now. As a reviewer, as an editor, I am telling you from the journal. More than 10 grammatical mistakes, more than 3% similarity, more than 10 punctuation mistakes, wrong spelling, your paper is surely going to be rejected. No hope of rescue. So please keep this in mind and act accordingly. The last most important thing, which is reminding me all the time, even if a paper comes up with the reviewer comment in the last stage, many review paper get rejected because of wrong way of responding the reviewer, because of the overwhelming attitude and showing the reviewers, I am the right one, you are the wrong one. It's not like that. You have to show very polite gestures. Even if you do not know something, even if you cannot do something, then also you can still penetrate, melt down the heart of the reviewer. I call it, you need to know how to melt down the heart of the reviewer. If you are, if their heart is getting melted because of your polite gestures, your review article is going to be surely accepted. So what to do for that? To do that, carefully prepare your responses. Even if the reviewer says at some point, this paper is very well written, except some of the parts, and uh, I, however, would like to give some critical comment, because the reviewer has said the paper has good, good uh, contents, the paper is well written, so you show a polite gesture. I am great. We are grateful for reviewing the paper. Thanks for the encouragement and inspiration. I am pleased to give the response of this question in the following way. So these careful gestures or polite gestures and academic language is extremely important. Each change must be reflected from the beginning to end. In the paper, in the cover letter, both, it must be highlighted with different colors, any change you make in the review article. Be enthusiastic in replying as if you are just following them, you are just listening, trying to make it, improve it, but not necessarily. In some places, if you also want to debate with the reviewer, want to go against, you can still go, you can still say, yes, we understand the, uh, the, the comment that you have given, but however, at this moment, I do not have enough uh, resources or references to justify this statement. If you kindly provide 
a article which can well justify this, I would be ready to include it. So sometimes when you are unable to goal it, if you find five defender in front of you, so Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi is running, you pass the ball to someone else, uh, there is no defender, they can shoot the goal. Anyway, both of you get the name and team get the name and you are in the winning situation. So this is called bypassing the reviewer comment by putting the ball in the court of the reviewer. This is called the tactics I am telling you, you must do. And I have seen when I review also many research articles, some of the good article writers, smart student and uh, researcher write me. If you sir, provide a good, if you provide a good articles or few research articles in this topic, we would be, we would be grateful to you. And it is my duty immediately. I have to give to the editor. I must tell the editor, please provide this article to the researcher to include, and editor will do that job. So this is very very important. So reviewer may be wrong, but you need to be tactful and must thank the reviewers to respond to your question. Do not respond to the reviewers while you are upset. Some critical question ask something, something. If you, if you are upset, don't answer in your upset mood. Cool down, chill down, and then you respond the answer because they usually give three months to six months when the comments are many. For example, in my first review paper, I got, I still remember 70 comments, okay? And when me and my students were doing, my students was almost losing the nerd. He was telling every day, sir, how can I do in one comment I am sitting for five days? Do not worry. That's why they have given you six months, six months into 24 hours, into 60 minutes, into 60 seconds. That's a big number, isn't it? So it must be doable. So we must be, we must be very receptive, you know, we must be very encouraging and um, we must be thankful basically to the reviewers. They, they have given a chance, they have not rejected, they have given comments. So giving comments and asking to fulfill those comments is it's as good as acceptance. And they are giving us a second chance if we can do it. So we must do it. So that's the way we must uh, do. And I uh, tell at this stage that in chemistry, in physics, we have uh, a lot of good uh, uh, writer. For example, in chemistry, in the department, Dr. Rosu Arena, and also in physics, Dr. Swahirul, and some of uh, them are can help you in this in this direction. You should continuously take the help. Our student, our graduate student, continuously take the help. The, remember again, you have to write it because the idea of this talk is not just delivering a talk for the sake of research week. The idea is taking this research week lecture as your take home message from tomorrow, start writing a review article, bring the name for faculty of science, bring the name of your department. Of course, if you bring the name of your department of UTM, obviously you bring the name of your country, you bring the name of your institute, and you bring the name of your parents because you are here, we are here, because they raise us, so they will be the most proud people at the end of the day. Remember, whether they express, they understand or not, that does not matter, so we must do it. As Einstein said, more abstract the science is, more reachable to the common people. For example, if any country makes a nuclear bomb, a farmer, farmer does not know what is nuclear bomb. They will say, you know, our country is great. Why? Because our country can destroy any country we will attack because we have nuclear bomb. So nuclear, they do not know, bomb they know from the crackers, but nuclear physics, making atom bomb or making nuclear bomb is so abstract, but abstract thing can reach to the farmer mouth because it is abstract. If your country tomorrow launch a satellite to the Mars, all the farmers will look at the sky and they will think in the night, probably this is the Malaysian Mars Voyager is running in the sky. So more abstract, they do not know about satellite. They do not know what is the benefit of satellite. So common people thinking is like that. So writing a review article at the end, I would like to tell and short, you can make us proud. And I would be the most proud person 
if you can write. That's the purpose. I always accept the invitation from anywhere because I want to disseminate this knowledge to the global people so that they can practice, they can bring, they can disseminate the knowledge. Ultimately, it helps to the humanity. So, and we are good human. How do we prove giving the good answer to the reviewers? So never call the editor. Do not fight to publish your review article. Get help from other authors. Get help from experts in the Suppose if you are working in the physics department or chemistry department or biology, you take the respective professor whom you feel knowledgeable who can help you. Take the help, take their comments. For example, many students from mathematics, many students from physics, chemistry, biology, chemical engineering, civil engineering comes to me. I help them. Sometimes they are ready to take me as author. I work on that paper and this is the way your collaboration will also build. And review paper is also a good way to collaborate with others to, to reach into the other institute people and to convey your ideas and message. So develop a coherent and cogent response letter. I call coherent and cogent response letter. Consistent, clear, with all the answers listed, addressing every query by highlighting the page, line, and figure number. So the gratitude, thankfulness, and polite gestures while defending. Remember, overall, we are human beings. The moment we see in what you have written, you have written, we are thankful to you, grateful to you, we appreciate your comments. Every human, whether it is Hitler or Mahatma Gandhi, looking at this English word, every people will think twice, their eyes will close, and their head will be up towards the merciful Almighty and say, you have given me this authority and power to entertain people, to accept people's opinions and ideas. Why not? accept this paper and let's see how this paper become popular and this is the way our spirit should go and as i tell human dies spirit works the legacy that you will leave your the young generation will follow you so that's the way with education we must follow the good gestures in writing in our academic words so i am coming to the point the most important point how to put the checklist what are should be in your checklist Please look at these points and you must make a tally. Have I fulfilled the purpose of the literature review? Is it written in the appropriate level so that general audience, even an undergrad student can understand? Is the presented fact correct? Are they relevant? Have I put enough empirical facts? Is the presentation is easy? When people read it, they should not be very it's not that boring or that monotonous. Is the description very clear and concise in the paper? Is the introduction written with enough references adequately introduce the topic? Are they chronological? Does the interpretation, analysis, and evaluation I have made is consistent and have a continuity? Have I acknowledged all the references in the figure, tables, every are the right references, or I forgot to do something? Maybe I have taken a figure from UTM website, but I forgot to do that. Someone's property, I must do it. So how many books and Q1 papers I have cited, and how many of them are recent? So this is the important checklist for you. So. I am coming to the conclusion of this part. I must tell that, make a similarity check, avoid silly mistakes and irrelevant citations. Check the list and respond to the reviewer politely with dignified gesture. Now I am going to part six. In part six, these last two parts are the two most important part of this talk. And as I believe to me, last 
impression and last thing you will remember because last few parts up to part five that i have discussed they might have washed out from your busy and randomized brain because of the statistical flow of the informations and neuronal responses to other things. Maybe some of you are thinking about breakfast. Some of you are, you might be having a lot of instinctive pull out from this lecture. So you might have forgotten, but this last part, please concentrate and focus sincerely so that I'm sure you will get at least some good thing out of it and you can start writing your review article from tomorrow. So this is the list of avoidance and don'ts, I call them. So several reasons for rejections, but some are relevant, and I am going to say those relevant one only. And remember, if you commit any of this or some of this, no hope of possible rescue. And you have to bow down your head, accept your all mistake, journal will reject, and then start again with renewed energy. So what are those things you need to avoid? The first avoidance. Use of the word or phrase, novel or first time in the title must avoid. Do not use the word study, investigation, the. Frequent change in verb and tense, too many on, off, for, in, with, etc. Preposition, interjection, conjunction in the title. Avoidance two. Ambiguous research objective. Research objectives of the review articles are not clear. Avoidance number three, poorly defined research questions, meaning the rationale of the problem statement of the review article is not clearly clarified. Lack of clarity and connectivity between different sections, different paragraphs, different subsections, different themes of the paper. Flaw in the research design. No generation of new knowledge and just another review article of similar kind. You must generate some new knowledge out of this review article. Avoidance seven, irrelevant references and mostly outdated. Do not cite any outdated references, too old for no purpose. Avoidance eight, data are not properly analyzed and validated. Nine, poor figure quality, no error bar, or uncertainty measure in the tabulated data. That means review article data must be refined, meaning the data you must collect from the best article, the latest, the most established one in that field. Do not cite 10 references with 10 different values. The most refined one you must present. No clear evidences to support the data just another article without any measurable contribution to the knowledge, new knowledge on the cited subject. And avoid the presented empirical results only contributes to the database and unmanned merely repetitive. So the empirical results that you have collected from different review articles, that must be analyzed and tell which is the best one so far for applications, for device manufacturing, for commercialization, for economic contribution, for the energy development, for health and hygiene. Depending on your topic, you must be able to give emphasis on the empirical facts. For example, if you are writing something on solar cell, you say the present Field efficiency of the perovskite solar cell, the best one achieved last year by Kim Oxford Group, say 25.3%, but this will take some time to commercialize and bring into a massive scale. The material synthesis part is not till yet 
up to the mark. So that kind of things you need to show to the community that this is the present status and we need to do research how to resolve this. That's called new knowledge in the field. So in conclusion, I just would like to tell of this part, avoid these, avoid these 12 factors and put a novel title. Next part I am going to do, but I just would like to again remind you, there are inexhaustive list of don'ts. I cannot include all of them. I have just told you the 12 most important one that I believe as a reviewer, that I also believe as a researcher and a writer that you must avoid them to get it accepted. On top, the execution of the strategies are important that I am going to tell in the last part of my lecture. So this is the part seven, list of do's and strategies. Now, again, I just would like to tell that 12 avoidance I have told, 12 I will tell acceptance, meaning 12 master plan that you must have to get the paper accepted. Master plan one, clarify the assignment, topic, title, and clear objective. Two, develop apt research questions based on problem statement that you have mentioned in the introduction and abstract. Master plan three, begin writing article with strong rational. First line of the introduction, first line of the abstract must be a strong rational, but not the same English, different English. Develop a good article or novelty statement. Five highlights, each below 85 characters, including spaces. Five strong highlights. Thus, editorial board looks at that. From there, they can decide whether this article has novelty or not. Highlights are very, very special for every review article because Based on the highlights, the Google server using the randomized Monte Carlo program or whatever in the written in the server, they call it Metropolis Monte Carlo actually works in the server to find the word, generic word in the string. And that's the way you get the connectivity. For example, if you say best work in nonlinear algebra, it will connect 50,000 papers over the last 40 years, say. And Google server search this and find from different resources, different libraries all over the world through a kind of Monte Carlo randomization of the random number. So where heart pulse, heart attack data, supernovae explosion, explosion of neutron bomb, explosion of the nuclear reactors, they are the true random. Collapse of the braille, cerebral thrombosis, when these are taking place, Doctors are accumulating those data, and those numbers are used to make the program more realistic. Okay, and that's the way present cloud server works, and that's where the speed of the computer and the memory of the computer play the role. And that's where master plan has to be done in a proper way. Organize your ideas, set a background. Master plan six, Create the first draft, get comments from supervisors and co-authors. This is important. You need to get the comments first from your supervisor and co-authors. Master plan seven, begin revisions and proofreading. Master plan eight, document your relevant resources and create a reference list. Here you need the selectivity and meticulous way of arranging them. And I must tell you one important thing at this stage is remind me, if your supervisor or your co-author said, I and give you the comment, I think this review article is good enough. You change this figure from here, change this figure from here and put references or references are lacking this. Remember, they are giving the garbage comment. This has nothing to do with the review paper. This is half-hearted and garbage 
kind of comment. This is not going to help to improve the review paper. So those supervisors who reads carefully, they give at least three to four times correction with in-depth knowledge so that they know that when it goes to the reviewer's hand, some more will come, but still it would be tractable. Those which will come, they will be highly technical based on the fertile brain of those reviewers. Those has nothing to do with your supervisors and your co-authors. Because as I told you, every human has limitations. Out of billion, why Einstein could think Newton's law has a flaw? Because Einstein gray matter in the brain cell was different than others. So this is the way we must comment on the review. Your supervisors, your co-authors must comment on the review article. Not the vague comment. The problem statement is missing. The objectives are not clear. They must tell how to make the problem statement clear, how to make the objective clear. So you have to tell. You need not have to just tell like politician, we must do it. This is not clear. That is not clear. We must add it. We must neglect it. No. This is good writer will always, good knowledgeable person will always show you the light, not the darkness. And not ask you to find the light in the darkness. They will give you the light and say, walk through the darkness, find something new. That's the good thing I like. Master plan nine, do final reading and make the last minute revisions. It must be free of mistakes. Master plan 10, draft a strong cover letter and submit free of mistake and the similarity in the cover letter also below 5%. Master plan 11. This is somewhat very important to remember. Title maximum award 10 to 12, five keywords. 50% of them must be in the title and abstract and 50% of them in the rest of the places. That means two or three out of five. 10 to 15 equations, exceptions for mathematics. 10 to 20 figures. Relevant, high quality, and figures from most important papers, from book also, if possible. Five to 10 tables. 50 to 80 references. Three to five highlights. But this is not the strict demarcation. It is flexible. Maybe some reference, some review article can deal with 120 references. One of our review article dealt with 130 references. One of my review article also dealt with 30 references. So you have a range, as I told you, depending on the topic, title, and the field of study. Master plan 12, be firm with authorships and polite with reviewers. Authorships means in the middle of the paper, do not change the corresponding author address, corresponding author, do not try to include another author, do not shuffle the author list, first author go to the last, last author come to the first, third author go to the fourth. Many students does it. They just put the two author, then while submit, they put three author. When it comes for review again, for comments, they put another two author, fewer chances of rejection. Many times, if you are changing the list of authors, that means you are a very confusing person. You are a very confusing researcher. A confusing researcher has no position in science. So be firm. That's why I told with the authorship from the beginning. Do not change your words. Okay? Good people, honest people do not change the words. Only fraud people change their words. That's why good researcher should be stick to the word. So basic insight, be coherent and cogent about the paper. The title abstract and conclusion must be consistent, must have consistent keywords. Construct completely different sentences for abstract and conclusions. In the conclusion, highlight salient features of the results with major achievements. What are the achievements so far? Breakthrough. Remember, breakthrough, achievements, remarkable contribution, or breaking contribution, uniqueness, the innovations, 
originality, novelty, and striking contribution made by some of the profound personality in this field must be reflected. That's why I tell you in the beginning, explore, evolve, improve, innovate, and achieve or contribute. So that's the sequence you need to think every time. Even now, when I write, even after 30 years, I feel myself that I am not matured enough. I hope I'm able to give you some idea, some knowledge about writing the review article. But even now, when I start writing a review article with my student or with some workers, I have difficulty to justify. I think continuously how to penetrate the heart of the five, six reviewers. Last four or five review papers I have only published in sustainable and renewable energy with impact factor nine. So, and immediately after falling, it gets 50, 100 citations within a year. So that you need to make. And if you feel that you are small, you have limitations, and then and only then you have something to achieve. If you start feel from the beginning proud and you have achieved everything like the way many believe, oh, we have published already two, three papers, I know the game. And that's the end of your academic career. We should be always beginner and think to start anew. That's what I say. So I am coming to the conclusion. The conclusion is of this entire lecture is include only those which are related to your topic and title in the review paper. This is the comprehensive or all-inclusive conclusion of the entire paper. Entire talk. Put relevant figures and tables for comparison. Put five to 10 references from the same journal to promote that journal. Journal would love it. For example, as I always tell, you are working as a officer of Apple company, Macintosh company. You are in the official trip in a meeting. Suddenly your phone came and you take a phone which is made of Samsung. Next day you go to the job, your expulsion letter will be ready. The company will say, we sack you from the job. You went there to promote Apple phone, but in your pocket it was Samsung. So remember, this is called, whenever you are writing the article into renewable and sustainable energy, it is expected 10 to 15% of the review articles will be from that journal, reference from that journal. Otherwise, how do you know that journal publishes article of this kind? So this is called promoting the journal. So it is our moral duty to promote a journal, praise a journal, praise a journal, so that people know that this journal is good. They are basically disseminating the knowledge in this field. They are coming into the global platform to educate millions of people in this world. They are the people who are community giving the free knowledge to the, that's why I saw in the beginning of my slide, Rabindranath Tagore Nobel Laureate Court from my same city, where the mind is without fear, where the head remains held high, where the knowledge disseminates without any boundary. So not simply paraphrasing, writing in different style. Always show the gap. Compare the earlier studies in the tabular form. Make sure that each words of the titles are addressed in the review with appropriate references. New theme, innovative style, different from existing is required. And that's the reason I took 15 years from my PhD to write first review article because I myself was not convinced. Many ideas came, many review paper I started writing, but I cannot claim I started writing many because I was not convinced with that fact that there is a need to write a review article or I will be able to reach to the global community by writing a review paper of that kind until I convinced myself I could not submit to the journal. When I was convinced, my paper came. Nanophotonics for 21st century, hydrogen fuel cell, disensitized solar cell, 
and so on. So some of these review articles are in the first in the Google search you can get and you can see just to see how it's but remember with time to time things are changing so as i told continuous evolution is necessary the review article i have wrote five years before the same elements same thing might not be appropriate to do you have to innovate you have to include something new put your opinion future trends and foreseeable futures in this paper in the article title must be new and catchy so why your review paper is new very precise and concise abstract about 150 words cite maximum q1 and q2 paper and most relevant one turn it in below five percent is preferable five to seven percent some journal accept but i don't recommend that that's why i told you three percent is the best avoid proceedings conference articles and website resources thesis can be cited provided they are available on cloud server from well-known institutes my perception of writing the review article is imagine believe act and achieve don't tell someone oh i am writing a review article i am going to publish you know i am doing research on this 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 field this is meaningless it is not important what you are doing it is important what you have done and published so to get your position in the cloud server imagine believe act and achieve first and i say this is my own these are all my own view about academics i have not taken it from anywhere i thought over the years nobody is perfect in the end affection wins over perfection thus we must be passionate to research and writing once you are passionate fascinated no one can stop you journals are there to accept you your article i know how to penetrate the journal reviewers writing the article provided i must be passionate and i must convince myself that this job review article or any article that i am writing can i give a justice to this is it convincing enough otherwise to my point at this stage, I can write every week one new article. Every week I can complete and submit in a journal. But for what? That we need to look at. How much knowledge, state-of-the-art knowledge it will be going to disseminate, I always look for it. And when I look at big, profounding figure like Einstein, Feynman, Hans Bethe, C.V. Raman, my head gets down in front of this big personality. I get renewed energy to fuel myself to do something more. And that should be the spirit. So in post mood, I am ending here. I'm going to say that what Sivi Raman said, you can't always choose who comes into your life, but you can learn what lesson they teach you. Maybe. Today I am the speaker, tomorrow you will be here, I am, will be in the receiving end. So I will be sitting in the audience and listening to you. So it really does not matter who is speaking in front of you, what way they are speaking. It is important. Is it really helpful? Is it really going to give you a lesson based on that? you can do something better to achieve better to get the name and fame of the university faculty institute your own if you have done that i would say my purpose is justified so i am thankful to all your all of you for your valuable time again i am thankful to faculty of science 
for making this possible and disseminating this knowledge. Our faculty of science and university is doing great job. It is ranking university because of this reason. At every level, starting from our junior lecturer to this, everyone is putting effort into different level to disseminate the knowledge of from Malaysia, from this great university to the world. And I'm grateful to our, our deputy dean, dean and the vice chancellor for doing these practices and this kind of thing. And I also tell some of you, student, lecturer, you please use our Nexus journal. On Nexus journal is something like Physics Today reviews and reports. Within 800 words, you have to write a crispy, innovative, new, contemporary storytelling article. And if your article get accepted in the Nexus, you are in the cloud. So people can feel you. You are like electron in the cloud. We are like electron, as I say. Electron no one has seen, but everyone knows their effect. In the body pain, in the LCD projector, in the television screen, all magic are due to electron quantum computing, but no one has seen the electron, everyone has seen the effect. I have not seen Einstein in my own eyes, only four or five Nobel laureates I have seen and taken class from them. But we know the impact of Einstein, we know the impact of Newton. They are like new electrons, they are like the star in this big universe. So to give an impact to this big universe, you need not have to be big. What should be big? your works and ethics. So write a good review article. Our, our department, our faculty give you this chance to listen to me, to talk to, to collaborate with anyone you like, to contact, make a contact with anyone, even in the group, those who are, who are participating, their email address would be available, participant email address. You can write to them, you can exchange your ideas, and make it possible. This platform is not just listening the talk and take the lecture notes and forget and get into something. This lecture note is for lifelong learning and I wish it is going to help you something and please try it to make it. At the end, I am coming to the questions, but before you pose your questions, I just would like to tell that The man who asks question is a fool for a minute. The man who does not ask question is a fool for life. So review paper writing is asking your mind, questioning your mind every time. So with these remarks, I end my lecture. Thank you very, very much for listening the lecture. And I hope you will be able to do it. And I am sure, I am confident that you have enough capability being UTM student and researcher to make this possible. Thank you very, very much. Now I am going to pick up questions from you. Thank you, Dr. Yap for your kind gestures and the uh, introduction for me. And I hope I stand up to that. With this note, I'm ready to respond to the questioners. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Singh. So um, we open uh, the question and answer session to the floor. Any questions from the audience? Hello, Dr. Singh. Yes, please, I'm listening. All right, so I have a question. Um, is that okay? Um, so, um, um, a topic actually for a paper, but um, but uh, the the field of study or um, the finding on this particular topic um, has not been done a lot, which means. Um, sorry, um, we are, I, I, we can't hear you clearly. Could you repeat your question? Yeah. 
No. Is it okay? Can you hear me? Uh, yes. No. No, no, yes. All right. Okay. Sorry. Um, maybe my line is not stable enough. Um, I am working on this one particular um research topic. Uh, uh, but I understand that um, the research topic that I am working at the moment, uh, the findings are not being contributed in the researches. So, in your opinion, should I continue on the research communication? Because, because in your uh, so, sorry, uh, we lost you halfway. Could you repeat? Uh, you stopped at, uh, could I uh, something? Uh, so um, because uh, the findings of the research topic um, is not a lot at the moment. So in your opinion, should, should I still proceed with the review paper or a brief communication paper? No, uh, that's, what, that's what I always tell that it depends on the field, need not have to be lots of findings, hundreds of papers, it depends. For example, perovskite solar cell came in, I am telling you, one type of solar cell came in 2012 by Oxford Group. Next year, 2013, only 50 paper was there. Someone wrote a monumentous review article and that got thousands of citations. So when you are working on a topic that topic may be very new, it is upcoming, that might have limited number of citations, but does not matter if you can still assimilate, show the importance, connect with the proper idea, still it can be short review article. That's why I say a review article need not have to be going to be 150 or 70 page. A review article can be also 15 page, short review article, but with most of the important facts, you can still go forward, yes. Uh, just to add a little bit, because even in your lecture, you mentioned that um, the, the number of references that we must use is between 50 to 80 references. But in our case, if we are proceed with the review paper, then we wouldn't be able to do that. What is your no. opinion? Uh, no, you, you, missed, you, you misunderstood. In the beginning, remember, I told you frequently asked question, how many review, how many papers I need to publish a review article? I said, there is no such rule. It can be 10, it can be 15, it can be 20. But in general, for most of the established fields, suppose a research which is done over last 20 years and still evolving or last 10 years, putting anywhere between 50 to 80 or 40 to 50 or 60 is the reasonable one. Because any research which is important means some research paper is coming up. Suppose you say, my research is started 50 years before, but till today I have only 10 papers. That means that field is already dead. No need to write the review article. That field has no importance. If a field is important, constantly evolving, that means you will always find the, some paper. But if the field is new, for example, your field is just started five years before, you have a very complex field, for example, hyperbolic and elliptical geometry, very few paper, only five experts in the world, started 15 years before. So in that kind of field, still 15 or 20 research paper is enough, depending on the field and what you are going to present. For example, if you can invite a guest, you can put 20 dishes. The invitee might be very upset with the, all the food preparation, but still you can give them five items. They would be totally satisfied, depending on what cook and what food you give. The review article is also act in the same spirit. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for the question. Um, are there any other questions from the audience? Comments, questions, anything to share? So, um, yeah. Okay, okay, can I ask? Okay. Sure, sure. Is it, is it clear? Uh, yes, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, doctor, when you uh, tell us that we need to use a latest paper, is it need to be 10, 10 years before or it will really accept uh, if we use 2005 paper, for example? Uh, again, I am repeating this. This is good. This is always asked. If you have enough paper of last five years, suppose enough means, say, 50 good papers, Q1 and Q2 paper from last five years, say, and you have also large number of papers of last 20 years. Then I would say 
tell, make a balance. Last five years paper, you keep 50%, and last 15 years paper, you keep 50%. But last 15 years, you must choose only important one. Only last five years, you can choose still the relevant and most relevant. But the old paper, you choose only the top, means the most relevant one. So that's because, remember, we are now in the digital age. And in the server, if someone is writing a review article or any article for last five years, those article contains all the paper of last 15 years. So that means by citing a most recent review article, you are indirectly indicating the authors to read all the cross references from that journal. So by that way, you have already taken care many articles from the previous one. That's the idea. Clear? Yeah. Okay, um, any other questions? So um, there were quite a few requests um, for the slides or for the video. So for everyone's information, uh, the video will be uploaded uh, in the Research Week uh, website. So you may refer to the video uh, at the website at a later date. Um, any other questions from the comments uh, from the audience? Nice to see you, Professor Fidus. Okay, um, if there's no questions, perhaps I'll ask one question. Uh, Dr. Sip, uh, perhaps um, what is your opinion if, um, is it okay for someone who is just starting to do their PhD and they would like to write a review paper? Well, now my chair is a little bit second. The answer is both yes and no. Let me just tell you, as I told you uh, that in 1991, when I asked this question to the professor, this question you are asking or we are asking today, he looked at me politely. I could understand he was a little annoyed. And then he told, see if you can try it after 15 years. Yes. I understood. I really appreciated. And my journey begins then, but I appreciated the depth of his answer because that time there were limited resources. And remember, in those days, we... I was, I was the 20th century creature, but now all the students are 21st century creature. They are one state ahead. For example, a newborn baby is, is trying to tackle the mobile phone, not the book. So therefore, all the information, resources, journal, and so on. Now students are also smart. They get a lot of information, discuss with supervisor, listen many lecture, video. So as long as they are accumulating the knowledge and if they are confident, even in the first year, I have seen one of my PhD students from Yemen. He is the top uh, master student, got Dean's, Dean's Award and so on, uh, Mehmood. He has written a review article on the topic, the research he started and sent me last week. I am amazed that he has collected all the information, bound it in a nice way, although he has to do more three months or six months work. But I must tell there is no such limit, even in the first year, second year, because wealth of information is available. For example, I can give you as an example. You see, you have just completed your PhD last eight or nine years, you are working on the quantum computing. But the kind of knowledge and literature you have accumulated from your third or fourth year, you have started thinking of writing a review article and you have already submitted one. So what I did during my time, after 15 years, I am taking the trial, but now Dr. Yeb being the 21st century creature and with well equipped in software and good knowledge, he is taking the risk of publishing the review article at the end of seventh, fifth year of his PhD. So that's a great minimization of time. And I would say every student and senior researcher, young researcher from the first year, they should go ahead because this takes time. And I appreciate if they can bring with this knowledge some kind of review article, their name would be written on the cloud server. No such limitations now. Now the world and the server is open. As long as your brain cells are fertile, 
old days are over. People used to say, your eyes should be having cataract with power lenses and hair should be gray to get a professor. No, my friend at the age of 22, he enters in the Bell Lab corridor after finishing PhD at 21, he got the professor position in Bell Lab. So his gray matter is much superior than me. So this concept has changed. As Einstein used to tell, he gave the same question paper in two years. His tutor asked, Professor Einstein, probably you have given the same question paper of the last year. Can you please check? Einstein gently told, answers have changed. Look, question paper was same, statistical physics, but answer was changed. So it's the evolution going on, innovation going on in research and technology. Today's review article may be obsolete. The review article I have written, 500 citations is got. After five years, people will forget. Maybe some of my students, you will write a review article. Now people will celebrate with that review article. So there is no as such hard and fast rule. Even from the first day, you can start writing. I would appreciate that. Thank you so much for asking this question. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Sip. So I think uh, the members of audience are very uh, excited to start writing something after this. Um, so um, are there any other questions from the audience? Uh, this not question. Uh, this not question. I, I, I really like uh, Dr. Sip opinion because now, nowadays uh, some journals, uh, the review paper must be come from invitation. Uh, but nowadays, uh, Hardly uh, we can see by invitation, as you can see the, the style of the information, you can collect it very easily. Like in 1990s, I still remember in 1990s, 1980s, uh, it's quite difficult to get references. So it's like uh, only the very experienced, uh, uh, knowledgeable uh, top professors in the UK, for example, they have 15, 20 years of experience in the same research area, they are allowed to write the review paper. But nowadays, the first year, first semester, First semester PhD student, eh, they are writing the review paper. I'm, I'm, I'm very surprised. This is because of, as you said, eh, the information is like at our fingertips. So you, it's very easy to get the information. Then you can summarize, can come up with uh, the gap of research in between eh, what, 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 whatever you know information that you obtain from the internet. I mean, this is very interesting uh, facts that uh, Dr. Sip eh, brought up. I, I, I love this kind of uh, uh, idea brought up by Dr. Sip. But the first year uh, PhD student writing the review paper it's not it's not like uh, you know previously it's all based on on by invitation uh, thank you so, uh, so much uh, uh, dr yap i'm just giving my my, my support uh, is it not question uh, that the idea that i really like uh, i never thought that kind of you know uh, that information dr sip uh, delivered uh, just now thank you so much thank you so much but only only thing as i told in the beginning the student or whoever uh, our researcher lecturer whoever is trying to attend to write a review article, they should not think of that I am so knowledgeable, I have so many papers, so I am in a position to write a review paper. The inspiration should come from that I have read so many papers, so many articles in my hand, but I have not seen a paper which is giving last 20 years in a storytelling way, so that an undergraduate student who is writing his FOIP, first year project, just by reading that review article, get a consistent idea. Wow, so much of application, so much of things, so much contribution. This field is so interesting. Even on our bedroom, on our kitchen, these items are there. We do not know research is going on. If someone can give that way, I would say they are the true 21st century digital creature. And I would wait for that day when UTM will bring that kind of review article in the first year, 100 citations will go. Second year, 200 citations will go. After 10 years, people will forget, doesn't matter. But that spirit should work. The legacy we should left for the young generation. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. And let's say, Prof. Haru for the comment. Um, it's good that, you know, as scientists, we, we, we check uh, each other as well. Uh, and, and your verification is uh, assurance to everyone here that, that uh, it's okay to actually start writing uh, review papers. So uh, I think we have time for one last comment um, or question, um, just a short one. Uh, is there any more question? Okay. Um, okay, I think there are no more comments. Um, so. 
just to just to uh, wrap up on on today's talk uh, it was a very comprehensive talk and there's a lot of experience um, you can see that there's a lot of experience being poured into this talk it was accumulated over the number of years uh, uh, as i introduced earlier it was almost uh, three decades of of experience it covers many parts from uh, reasons to write a review paper up to even the cost of each word in a journal paper so that that was very interesting as well and um, um, as Dr. Sip mentioned, the review paper is very different from your normal paper, where review papers are something that you rely on other people's work, whereas your journal is 60% uh, of more. Okay, um, so I, I think, I think um, uh, that's, that's a lot for me to sum, summarize. Um, oh, there's one question. Um, if there is any question in the future, uh, will you be able to answer it via email, Dr. Sip? Not just answer the email, I would be pleased to do so. And every day, almost in the evening, I keep my 30 minutes time to give comments, answers, and whatever help I can do all over the world. Every day, from all over the world, I get email. On the same day, if I cannot give, I read the paper over the weekend and give the comments and help them to get it. Yes, I'm always available for anyone in this world okay wow uh, okay so um, there you have it uh, what an impressive talk today was uh, thank you very much Dr. Sip. Um, so before we close the session um, just a reminder that one we have the attendance that we just shared and also we would really uh, appreciate if you can fill up the feedback form uh, secondly we would like to take a group photo um, if uh, members of the audience, could you turn on your video for a couple of seconds, if it's uh, possible? And um, um, the host um, IT unit, are you ready to take the photo? So we're going to take a short photo. Um, Just let me confirm with the IT unit. IT unit. So we have a lot of members today, uh, more than uh, 100 members uh, in today's talk. Okay. We are taking some photos now. Just give you a few more seconds for the IT you need to take some photos. There's someone from the car park also. There's somebody from the car park also. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Very hot weather. From the car park. Mahmoud Al Hajj. Eh? At the car park. Eh? Yes, uh, yes. Uh, I heard you, yes. <laughs> Okay, um, just let me confirm with the IT unit. IT unit, is everything all right? Yes. Okay, sure. Um, okay, uh, thank you very much again uh, to everyone for joining this session. Thank you very much to Dr. Sip for the wonderful presentation uh, on, on your experience on writing a review paper. Uh, we, thank you very much, Dr. Sip. So uh, we have uh, a few more talks today uh, one more talk later this afternoon if uh, anyone is interested uh, feel free to join and we have much more um, activities or talks for both staff and um, students uh, for, uh, throughout the rest of the week thank you again very much for joining this session and uh, i bid you a good week ahead thanks for looking thank you, thank you. bye, -bye.